big Animal Crossing fan, I absolutely couldn't resist um, buying the Happy Home Designer, even though I know nothing at all about the game. And I'm a bit reluctant to open it and get started because I know how obsessive I can be about collecting things. Um, and I'm sure this is just going to be another um, another way of me um, struggling to find time to do everything because I know how um, into these games I get. Anyway, in the in the box that I've got, um, I've got the game cartridge and I've got the amiibo card reader so I'm just going to unbox those and get them ready to use and then we'll get started. Very exciting. Haven't had a new game for ages because I really haven't got time to play games but I couldn't resist. Oh! I've got Resetti as one of my first cards. That's very exciting. It is. Um, I haven't played Animal Crossing for quite some time, having having played New Leaf and um, got as far as I could get with it and given up after a while. Um, I thought it was about time I had a new game. So I'm going to put the game cartridge in the back of my DS. Don't get the old one out first. There you go. And open up and I am just going to start. I haven't read anything about the game. Um, I haven't read anything about the game at all. So I'm just going to get going and hope for the best. Okay, so I've got my Happy Home Designer cartridge in um, and the icon's this lovely little red one that looks a little bit like the, the Animal Crossing icon. Um, I'm just having a quick read of the manual to see what the amiibo cards are. I've got a vague idea what I'm going to do with them. Um, I'm, I think I've picked up that you get a card with a character on it and once you've got that character in your game you can get to decorate their house. Um, so you have to collect these as well as collecting all the furniture in the game. I'm hoping that it's going to have the same feel about it as um, the original Animal Crossing games and not just be a sad add-on. Start. Okay, so it's already feeling a lot like Animal Crossing. Tom Nook starting things off. This is where you usually enter all your details to get the game set up. Lottie, that's a new character. New hire's name. Okay, so you have to enter your name. What do I look like? Okay, so rather than answering questions and getting a random look, you do actually get to pick your own look in this one. Um, so that's quite nice, the difference between the character choice in New Leaf and this one. Okay, um, let's go for those eyes. Can I change the nose? No, I don't think I can change the nose. Okay, hairstyle. Oh, lots of hairstyles. Don't like the ones with sticky out ears. And these are all quite similar to the Animal Crossing hairstyles that you could get in the um, Oh, I can't even remember the name of the beauty salon now. Shows how long it's been. All right, let's just go for that one. And yeah, brown. I don't know if you can change this in the middle of the game. Anyway, let's just go for that. Yeah, of course you didn't forget me, Mr. Nook. Obviously, Tom Nook is a familiar character from the Animal Crossing games. And I recognise a couple of these, and then there's a new one. So, yeah, Lyle, he was in the Happy Home Academy before. Sounds like it's a still, still the same character. Okay, 
Well, that's true. I never understood quite how the Happy Home Academy scoring worked. Um, maybe this game will be easier to understand. Who knows? Okay, Digby. Now, Digby in New Leaf. Wasn't he the one who looked after all the homes that you could go and visit? Okay, I'm not quite sure what he's going to be doing then. Lottie. Lottie's a new character. An expert in home design. Okay. Oh, I'm doing my training. Okay, good. I'm going to get some training. Right. Let's, let's get going with this training then, Lottie, shall we? Interior remodel on a client's home. Right. I've got to give the room a makeover. That's my training. What are you going to give me? Oh, I've got a uniform. Great. Right, how do I? Oh, there we are. Um, can't use that one. I've got to use this one. Going up the stairs to change into my uniform. Uh, how do I get my uniform out? Oh look! Oh, maybe I can get my hair done. Not sure how this works. No, well maybe I can't do that yet. Where's the changing room? Then? Aha! There we go. Got to go into the through the curtain. There we go. Oh, I didn't even get it out of my pockets after all that, so I still don't know how to access my pockets. Okay, well that's not a bad uniform. Let's go back downstairs. Make sure I wear it tomorrow. Oh, I can buy accessories, okay. Am I ready to learn about interior design? Yes, I suppose I am. The good thing about these games is that they do give you all the training that you need in the first bit so that you, you're not there wondering what to do. They really do take you through it step by step. Right, so I'm fan of all things cute. Room with a lovely atmosphere. So tap the block to open the box, and that's a lovely sofa, a uh, lovely love seat. Okay, so some of the furniture is the same as in Animal Crossing. Clients have pieces they're very attached to, so you get extra points if you use them. Okay, so if I want to move it around, I can put it in the corner. I turn it. Oh, oh that's me. <laughs> I'm moving myself around. Quite funny. Um, how can I turn it around then? I don't know how to turn it around. How do I turn it around? Ah, give the block a quick tap. Ah, okay. Drag it to where you want to place it. Okay. Where do I want to put the lovely love seat? Well, I think I'll turn it around that way and put it at the back of the room for now. Okay. That's quite easy. Easy to use that system. This room's going to need more than a single sofa. Okay. So I'm going to have a furniture catalogue. Uh, I haven't got very much in this furniture catalogue yet. Um, okay, looks like I've got the whole of the lovely series in here. Um, I, want, I want carpet or wallpaper. I've got some plants. And I've got 
some art and some gyroids. Okay, hang on. Tables, chairs, cupboards. Oh, what are they? Some of those things are new. Uh, bathroom things, lamps. I still haven't got any carpets. Okay, never mind. Let's have a lamp then. Yeah, wall decorations. Okay. Oh, so I've got to use a different tab for that one. Okay, let's have a, that one. A wall clock. So it's just gone straight up on the wall. Wallpaper and flooring. Okay, I couldn't have opened this the first time. That's why I'm still in training mode. Okay, so we'll have a lovely wall. Lovely wall. Oh, hang on, a rug, yeah, let's have a rug. There we go, and we'll have a lovely, a lovely rug. I can choose the size, can I? Oh dear. Okay, so the client's request is in a book or something. Drag it to the trash can to get rid of it. Okay. I'm wondering if all the points and feng shui rules are the same as they were in Animal Crossing. Um, I guess I'll find out later on. Okay, so I want to get rid of that because it's the wrong size. So it's not large. That's it, I like it to cover the whole floor. Okay, let's put that lamp over there. Um, now, I don't know whether I have to have, in the Animal Crossing, in Animal Crossing before, you used to have to have um, a bed, a chair, you have to have, um, have to have the whole range of furniture items. I don't know whether I've got to in this one, or whether, um, well, that's the light switch, or whether you, you're doing different rooms, so this is just the lounge and you do a bedroom separately. I don't know how to find the... How do I find her instructions? Is that the one? An utterly charming room. That's the vision. Like I say, I don't, I don't know whether it's got to have a bed in it as well or whether it's just a lounge. Well, let's just decorate it as the lounge for now. So, choose some more furniture. So one of those little tables. Oh! Mean to do that. That over next to there. And we'll have a coffee table in front. And another chair. Oh, what's that noise for? Turn that. I've got the clock on the wall there, but I'd like to move it over here. Um, let's see. Is that a, that's not a lovely thing, is it? Hang on. No. I have like to stick with the things that are the lovely theme. Oops, that's the kitchen. I'll put that in the corner over here. Let's hope we've got a bedroom somewhere else. I'm not going to put bathroom things in. Mag oh, I don't want the magazine rack because that is not a lovely thing either. Get rid of that. Oh, that'll do for now. This is only the training exercise anyway. Am I done already? Yes. I've done a fairly decent job. Well, that's not too bad for a first try then. Last three charming room. Okay, so I get a little look at it. I'll skip past that. Ah, oh, that's his Lottie's house, okay. Okay, so I've passed my training, good oh. I still don't know whether I was meant to have a bed in that room. Anyway, let's go and see what comes next.
Did I love my first day on the job? Yeah, I did. Well, I think you do have to do that really, don't you? Okay, so the training's quick and finished. Client scheduled come in, coming in tomorrow morning. And so that's my first real customer job. I have to write a daily report. That sounds like homework. I get a desk and everything. It's quite good. Okay, I write up a report every day. Is that like saving? What's a daily report? Ah, oh, yeah, it is exactly like saving. Business hours are over, but I can keep playing. Good. After saving, select continue to move on to the next day's work or select quit to stop playing. Okay. So rather than being in real time, I'm... Um, rather than being in real time, like Animal Crossing New Leaf, You've got obviously blocks of time that when you save a day's finished, I'm assuming. Yes, I don't mind sharing my game information with Nintendo. Oh great, you're gonna give me a compact car, how exciting. Continue with the game, yes please. Okay, so it's the next day in my game. Aha, Goldie. I'm assuming all of the customers are the New Leaf characters. I used to like Goldie, the little dog. So new town hasn't been built yet. So they're all going to build themselves new houses. Good for you. Okay, it needs an interior remodel. Surrounded by books. See what we've got. I don't know how you acquire new items in the game yet. Haven't worked that out. Okay, Lottie's giving me quite good reference there. So in every house there's going to be a few new items, it looks like, in those boxes. Okay, so tap search to see what new furniture is available. That's the search there. How to search for items. Check this menu to see what new furniture has been added to the catalogue. And I can search by word or colour. Okay, when you take on a job, items that are related to the client's request are added to the catalogue. Well, that sounds quite easy, so I don't have to go around collecting them or buying them. Okay, so she's got the green set, some basic furniture. And some bookshelves and some plants. Quite a lot of new stuff. Oh. Different set there, pineapple set. Oh, I've just put a pineapple bed in my room. I didn't really mean to do that. Let's take that out again. Okay, there's actually loads of stuff there. Okay. 
and it looks like what's that? So that's okay. That's how I would search for things if I wanted to find that pineapple bed. I would type in pineapple and search, and it would bring up the bed. Okay. Searching by colour. So if I said green, that brings up all the green things. Okay, that's very useful. Useful kind of search tool. Right, let's undo these boxes then. What have we got? Large bookshelf. Gramophone, what's that? Phonograph. And stack of books. Okay. Right, I'm going to get on with decorating this room then. Let's see, carpets first, alpine, pastel dot, study rug. Oh, let's have let's go for study. That would be nice. Make it into a study. Walls. Just the walls. Oh. That was a music album I just put on the wall. I'm not sure I wanted to do that. I wanted to find the wallpaper. Oh, clothes. That's art for the walls. That's music for the walls. Or I guess if you've got a gramophone, you can put it in there. Clock. Where were the carpets? I've forgotten where the carpets were. Aha. The carpets and walls. No floor, wallpaper. We'll get there in a minute. And a library wall. Classic. Have I got a study wall? No. We'll go for library wall because she wanted books. Select it. Like that. have a sofa because it wouldn't be good without a sofa would it? No I don't think I like that one. To be honest that green one doesn't look very comfy. If you're going to read a book you need a comfy one. So let's have that one. Oh moving the rug. Don't want to move the rug. There we are, sofa in between the books. Marshmallow chair, let's have that as well. Okay, it'll be comfy while we're reading our books. Okay, I think we should have a coffee table or something. See, I don't know if I'm going to get any points for this because these things are a bit random. Um, right, we need some more books. Let's see what bookshelves we've got. What was that? Modern wood chest. No, I don't want that. Magazine rack. Let's have a magazine rack. Turn it round. Put it there. Okay. Right, that'll do for now. I need to find out how the scoring system works. Am I all done? Yes, for now. I haven't given you a bed. Again. Okay, well she seems happy enough. It's a bit of a mishmash of a room really, not up to my usual standard of decoration that I was used to in Animal Crossing New Leaf. But um, I can, I'm sure I can come back to it and redecorate afterwards, well I hope I can.
Right, that's enough of that. Didn't realise that was going to carry on for quite so long. Okay, so Goldie seems happy. At least she hasn't changed her mind yet. I learned a new emotion, joy. Okay, we used to have joy, um, emotions in in New Leaf. And you could collect different ones. Although not that easily. Okay, so I'm back in the office. Um, I think Goldie liked it. I guess if I said not sure, I might have a chance to go back. Emotions. Okay. So a wide range of emotions when we're dealing with clients. Right, but they want me to save first. Okay, so obviously I only get to do one job a day. Right. Okay, I'm going to write my daily report and go home because I've got other things to do today. So I'm going to pause for a minute and actually come back tomorrow. It's looking good so far. I think I need to do a bit more exploring before I find out the full extent of the game. So we're going to quit and say goodbye for now.